In today's video, I'll be doing use substitution and make sure that you, keep, you pay attention to how I uh, to what I let u equal to. And by the end of this video, you should be able to do uh, a lot of different types of questions based on th that may require you to use u substitution. I'll try to expose you to as many questions as possible. So here you start off by say by letting u equal to x squared minus 2 and you will see why you choose u to be equal to x squared minus 2 very very soon and you take the derivative of du and then that's going to be 2x the derivative of negative 2 is going to be 0 and then you will plug with dx therefore dx is going to be equal to you divide by 2x on both sides so dx is going to be du over 2x now you substitute uh, dx uh, there with du over 2x because you want x and that x there to cancel so that you only have one a single you're working with only a single variable here and you're going to substitute here with u so let's do it dx and then in the place of this one you put u because x squared minus 2 is equal to u so you put u in the place of dx you're going to put du over 2x because this is du over 2x and as a result x's will cancel and then you will have with 3 over 2 take 3 over 2 outside and you will be left with u to the power 3 du now this is a very like easy question that I've dealt with in the past uh, videos so you should be able to do it so basically here what you're gonna do is you will just add 1 on, on the numerator and then you will get 4 and then you're just gonna divide by that 4 so you add 1 to the numerator you get the result and you divide by, by that result and then you say plus C so what you will end up with is 3 over 8 Q 4 plus C and a person who pays attention could, could be asking uh, why is C not multiplied by 3 over 2 the reason we we're not multiplying by 3 over 2 on C is because C represents an, arbit an arbitrary number that we don't know so even if it's multiplied by 3 over 2 it will still be a, a constant that we don't know so we should might as well just leave it as c and also we write c because this is an indefinite integral let's go on to the next question oh by the way this is not the end you have to you have to write down the value of u you have to substitute back u and write it in terms of x okay here's another problem go ahead and try to solve it if you can so um, here you're given 2x multiplied by the square root of 8 minus x squared multiplied by dx so here again you're gonna look at uh, you're gonna look for the inside part in this case the inside part is 8 minus x squared right and the reason you want to equate this to u is because when you take the derivative that 2x should become, I mean that x to the power 2 should become 2x which will be in the denominator and cancel out with this 2x here. So let's let u be equal to 8 minus x squared, the inside part. I'm sure you are probably noticing the trend now because we also look for the inside part even in the first example. So du is going to be equal to this 0 minus 2x dx and therefore dx is going to be equal to du over negative 2x now we substitute everything this is going to be u dx is going to be negative du over 2x and you can see that 2x and 2x will cancel we will end up with negative negative u du 
um oh we took uh, this negative out that's why we have it here so when you have a question like this it's kind of easy to continue because you are seeing something you're familiar with remember the square root becomes 1 over 2 if you are given something like this and that's, that's there was a one there even though it's not region of course the numerator I mean one becomes the numerator and that two outside representing the root becomes the denominator so if you had something like this it would become 5 over 3 okay and we're doing this because we want to make our lives easy okay so what you do is you add 1 on top next to 1 over 2 1 over 2 plus 1 is the same as 1 over 2 let me write it here 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 is the same as 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2 and the reason you chose 2 is because you want the bases to be the same so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 over 2 so you will end up with 3 over 2 there divide by 3 over 2 here plus C if you're dividing by a fraction you just have to multiply by it but in a form that's inverted so in, now that you have 3 over 2 what you want to do is to just say 2 over 3 and then write 3 over 2 we'll see so even if, if for example you had 1 over 5 this would become 5 over 1 multiply by u so you invert the fraction and multiply by it Okay, so this is going to be 2 over 3, and then u, u is 8 minus x squared, because we have to write everything in terms of x squared, as the question was given, using x. And this is how your final answer will look. Okay, let's go to the next question. Okay, let's look at this question. Here yeah, you still have to do the same thing. You will let u be equal to the the expression that's inside the square root. So you will let u be equal to the expression inside the square root. And find the derivative. And then you rearrange and write it in terms of x. You have d negative du over 4 x cubed. So you substitute everything here. u and dx is going to be that. And x cubed and x cubed will cancel. And then you're going to take out the negative and then you will have 1 over u du. This is easier to work with. We've done a lot of examples similar to this one in the past. It's a matter of manipulation. So you know that um, you know that this is 1 over 2. Square root u is the same as u to the power of 1 over 2. And you also know that when you take this, when you change this frag, this fraction, uh, in, in a way, so like let me, if you have a function, or if you have a variable, let's say variable uh, x to the power n, when it goes to the numerator, when you're inverting it, you get x to the power of negative n. That's a that's a law of exponents. So we're going to use the same law of exponents here. So this becomes negative 1 over 2 du. And then 
you add 1 there and you're going to have negative 1 over 2 plus 1 divide by negative 1 over 2 plus 1 so when you add 1 there you get this result and then you divide by the result and then you add C so this is going to be equal to negative 1 over 2 plus 1 is going to be positive 1 over 2 so that's minus 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 plus C and the final answer will be negative 2 U 1 over 2 plus C remember when you divide by the fraction you multiply by the fraction but invert uh, the given values of the fraction oh and by the way you have to also make sure that you substitute back um, the x values I mean the, 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 the expression with x so that's going to be 1 minus x to the power 4 to the power 1 over 2 plus c that's how you would write the answer next question so u substitution is also used in trigonometric uh, expressions so in this case what you need to do is you will need to write or I mean you will need to choose your u um, such that when you find the derivative of the expression that's equal to u it cancels with x in this case you could choose cos um, cos to the power 5x but then remember cos to the power 5x is the same as cos x to the power 5 so ba basically the inside part now is cos x so you say let u be equal to the inside part which is cos x therefore du is going to be equal to negative sine x dx the derivative of cos x is negative sine x write this in terms of u in an effort to cancel out x this becomes okay let's see. this becomes du over sine x was divided by negative sine x on both sides. Now you substitute this value there and then you substitute for u here. You will end up with something like this u to the power 5. Remember u is equal to cos x and then cos x here is u raised to the power 5. And then um, of course this is going to be du over sine x. That's dx sine x and sine x will cancel you're going to take out the negative and you will be left with u to the power 5 du which is going to be equal to u to the power of negative 5 when you write this um, I mean when you raise uh, u to the power 5 from, uh, to, to, the, to the exponent you change its sign you change the sign of the exponent okay wait what did I say here Oh, when you when you raise this expression to the numerator, that's what I was supposed to say. You change the exponent to a negative, and that's what we have here. And then now it's very easy to work with. But you're just gonna add one there, and you're gonna get negative four, and you're gonna divide by negative four plus c. You and then you will substitute back. It's up to you if you want to simplify this further, like this. Uh, okay, 1 over 4u to the power 4 plus c. And then you can just put uh, the values of x here. Well, the value of x is cos x, so this is going to be cos x to the power 4 plus c. That's how you would do this question. If you like this video, please make sure that you like, comment, uh, and share it with others. And also don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.